Happy April. I can't believe the first quarter is gone, but I'm gonna do a uh, quick market recap on that quarter. Um, it feels like we got two really strong forces raging against each other. Uh, one, on one hand, we've got affordability, or unaffordability is a better word, um, that we've never seen before. Even when your parents tell you about 22% interest rates, well, affordability, once you take today's average income, today's average house price, and today's average interest rate, is actually quite a bit worse than what they experienced in the early 90s. So you can tell them that and when they remind you they've seen 22 percent interest rates and on the other hand um, we've also got record-breaking immigration and have had for the past few years combined with a build rate that's about half of our immigration rate which is basically keeping a bottom under the market um, because we have lots of people um, that need a place and the rental market is chock full and very, very low vacancy rate. So we have a ton of buyers that wanna get back into the market and I think you'll start to see them just edge back in um, as soon as those rates start to take those um, incremental adjustments down. Most economists are expecting that's gonna start by June, July. And I'm finding the long-term rates have already started going down, which is pulling some people back in. So inventory has stayed relatively balanced over the last three months and pricing has been balanced. It maybe edged up just a little bit. Um, but if you're a buyer that can buy at today's rates, uh, it might be an opportune time for you before those rates start to come back down too much and, and bring that many more buyers back into the market. So. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out and I hope you're having an awesome day.